Welcome back to the Love Vegan Kitchen and this week we're going to be making something super simple but extremely tasty. We're going to be making a Thai Pad Krapal dish. Now if you're looking to replace one of your meaty dishes with a vegan dish, this is a perfect place to start. We'll be using a This Isn't Beef Mince as our meat replacement. To this dish we'll be adding some chopped bell peppers, some basil, some garlic, some chopped onion and a few chili peppers. For our sauce, we'll be using a mushroom sauce and a dark soy sauce. It really is as simple as just a few ingredients. We'll jump over to the hob and we'll get cooking. Okay, so we've just got a little bit of oil warming in our pan. To this, we're gonna add our first two ingredients. So, garlic. And our peppers, our chili peppers. So if you want this dish really kind of like hot and spicy, you can add some super strong spicy chilies. Um, for this one we've got some pretty mild ones this week and we're just going to heat these up until we bring the flavours out. So when your garlic starts to brown and is releasing its flavour, we're ready to put in the mince so you can just drop the whole packet of mince into the pan there and we're just going to lightly fry this for about seven minutes until it's done. So as you can see our mince is looking nearly cooked so it's time to add the rest of the vegetables and just finish it off. So we're going to pop in our sliced white onions. And we're going to add our sliced bell peppers. And we just need to keep frying this up until the veggies are cooked. The onions are looking nice and golden brown. And we're ready to put in the sauce. So our veggies are looking nearly cooked. We're gonna add in just a little of our dark soy sauce. So be kind of tentative with this, it is very dark. And we're just gonna use this to add a little color to our dish. So we're gonna put in about a teaspoon, mix it in to add some nice color to the dish. And then it becomes up to you what kind of colour you'd like. Stir that in. As you can see, the this isn't beef. Absorbing some of that nice colour there. Just going to top up a couple of the pink bits there. Then we're going to add in our mushroom sauce with about two tablespoons. Just going to chuck that in. And then just finish the stirring the fry so it's all cooked and all the flavours are distributed evenly. So with our dish looking pretty much cooked now, we're just gonna add the final touch, which is our basil leaves. So I'm gonna use about half of our basil. And you just wanna take the actual leaf parts, leave the stems, and just put them in a hole. Ah, oh, they smell delicious already. Some nice big leaves there. So we're just gonna pop those in. And we're just going to wilt them down a little bit until they're absorbed into the rest of the dish. And then we'll be ready to serve. So as you can see, our dish has just been on for about one more minute and we've just lightly wilted down those basil leaves. They're looking really good now, so we're going to jump back over to the uh, counter and serve up the dish. So that's our dish prepared uh, and ready to serve. So we've got some jasmine rice, top with a couple of chilies. You can decorate it however you like with some coriander or whatever your preference. We've got a little bit of cucumber on the side just for some decoration. So we're gonna plate up our pad crapau and then have a bit of a taste test. There we go, it's smelling absolutely delicious. Put a bit more on there. There we go. There we have it, one simple pad crapau. It's so easy to make, just a few ingredients and a little bit of stir frying time is all it takes to make this delicious dish. 
I'd love to see your creations. Do tag us on Instagram if you make this. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Here we go, moment of truth. Mmm. 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 Really good. Mmm. Really good. This isn't beef. It's um, pretty convincing actually. Ah, delicious. So we're just going to drop the whole. I'm gonna drop the whole. Did say gonna drop the whole back in. <laughs>